Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I like to review this uh, newly released iFi Audio Nova and Supernova power cables. That's right folks, are power cables, okay? Power cables are one of the uh, most argued, you know, segment in this audio industry and audio files among the audio files. So a few years back, I did my, you know, share my thoughts on power cables. Then um, some people are not happy about it. Some people truly appreciate it because good cable is very important in audio system. Not only good speaker wires or not only good interconnect cables. Power cables are equally important. And then some people say, I'm the anti-cable guy, but I'm not. I like good quality cables. So if you don't believe power cable is not going to make any difference, I do not argue with anyone in this hobby because this hobby is all about enjoyment. What is the point of arguing? So the reason I started using these kind of power cable is I'm not happy with the built quality of standard power codes. That's how I started, okay? I don't like the way this, uh, you know, I've had a big power amp, but the power cable is tiny. And I was like, is it enough current going through there? Or oh, then uh, I did my research and smaller power cables tend to produce more, uh, you know, electromagnetic fields to surrounding area. Why the current is in your system, you want to make it better current. Meaning by that is the uh, not affecting the surrounding components with the uh, electromagnetic field, such as this kind of small cable can be problem problematic if you have a sensitive cables or sensitive components nearby. That's why I made this kind of my own cables. Then now this is the uh, single helix design that I made. And then this is the uh, also single helix, but this one is shielded. And this one is also shielded single helix design. So these are the cables that I made and I have many, many cables that I made and I, I use. Now, what I like to talk about is this uh, iFi Audio newly released uh, Nova and Supernova power cables. They are very innovative design, especially this uh, Supernova design. It has a built-in noise filtering, device and this one is also can monitor ground lift or polarity check and all that with that is like a, a little LED will light up if, if your ground is lifted or if your polarity is incorrect. So that is a good power cable to have if you have concern about your ground or polarity as well as filtering out the all the line noises and also this one features the uh, double helix uh, full balance design on this cable okay this cable it sells for $350 because this one has the uh, built in this line noise filter and such protection which is uh, based on uh, iFi audio uh, the, the you know, the noise control product that they made, active noise control, I believe that's what they call it. So that is a design. This is an active noise canceling or control number two, version two that they use. So this iFi Supernova and Nova cable utilizes your full balance, full conductor design with ground at the center. They call it ground zero. So the ground in the middle and four conductors, two for each side, the neutral and active or hot conductors. So two for hot, two for cold, then it will go around the, uh, in the helix position, which is twisted evenly around the uh, ground conductor. So you don't get the uh, noise influx or noise leak from your conductors and it will cancel each other out and it will be less electromagnetic field surrounding these cables. So these two cables I tested back to back in my system with the, uh, my reference DAC Musician Audio Aquarius DAC. Main amplifier using PS Audio AC12 power code and my music server is using Oya Eden Black Member Alpha AC power cable. 
So those two cables stay the same with my music server and main amplifier, but I switch these two and this uh, standard uh, you know, power cable around when I'm playing with the uh, my Musician Audio Aquarius deck. So let's start with this standard 14 gauge power cable that they throw in when you buy the components. So this one fully capable of delivering enough current to your deck or to my deck that I have. And the problem is it has a highly elevated background noise and all the frequency notes are properly reproduced with good detailed sound, but it has the elevated uh, background noise that I can notice. Sound stage is less focused and not enough uh, precision. That will be simple what? So that is my experience with this uh, standard power code. Then uh, I switched to this uh, iFi Nova power code. What happened? The standard, compared to standard power code, it gets much quieter background, a lot less background noise, and all the notes are more elevated and more uh, three-dimensional like uh, definition that uh, it can improve because reduce, by reducing the noise, the music notes are more noticeable. That's how the power cables can improve the sound. So that's where the differences are. So these kind of a double helix balance cable design is better in noise control because it will reduce the, uh, significantly reduce the electromagnetic field surrounding these power cables when you, you know, cable is connected with your wall and your component or your power distributor. This one sells for around like 160, 170 US dollars, which is very reasonably priced and build quality is very solid. Best of all, you know, another thing is these kind of uh, power cables that many company makes is yeah, super rigid. This one is very flexible. So you can put anywhere in your system, it will be you know, easy to manage and very flexible design that, you know, you're not gonna break your, you know, receptacle or that sort of thing that happened with some heavy duty power codes. From this standard cable, I switch over to this Nova cable. The difference is quieter background and bass notes are very much comparable, but more definition and more define our sound quality with a little bit more smoother top end. That's where the differences are. So those are the things that you will notice different between these kind of, you know, throw in power codes with this kind of balanced power cables. Then now I switch over to this Supernova, which has the noise filtering, such protection built in. You know, one of the innovative design that iFi introduced recently. As far as I know, there is no active noise cancelling built into AC power cables. And compared to Nova and Supernova, the difference is this Supernova can even you know make it sound more uh, vivid and more transparent compared to Nova and then uh, noise floor is you know a little bit lesser noise than the uh, standard Nova but the problem for me was it sounded uh, more vivid and more spacious and it gets tiny bit of a brightness you know introduced in my system that is a system dependent so that is a depending on pairing component as well. So those sort of things that I can hear using between these two cables. So if you ask me, this Nova is my favorite. The Super Nova is the reason I put them in the, uh, you know, my best buy list in 2021 is this innovative design. This kind of a built-in noise filter with this cable can be highly beneficial, especially for your digital components. This one retail for, I believe $350, which I think is reasonable because if you added that noise filtering or noise suppressor to your system with, even with standard cable, good quality one can cost four or $500 easily. So that's it, my friend. That is my experience with these two different power cables from iFi Audio. Thank you, iFi Audio, for sending me these cables and I truly enjoy testing them in my system. I really like this Supernova 
for the uh, tiny component with the uh, you know that uh, switching mode power supply I really like this Nova for you know in you know good quality component with power transformer and all that so this Nova is really good and work great with my deck which is Aquarius R2 tech so this one is really good in my system and I really love it so this one will be keep on using it with my Aquarius deck the supernova will be using with the uh, you know uh, entry level decks or that kind of uh, smaller components which has the uh, switching mode power supply so that's what I'm gonna use that's it my friend that is my experience testing these two cables thank you for watching and happy listening
Cause my heart fell on a single day